Welcome back to a new video everyone and today we're going to be taking a look at Windows 11 22H2. Windows 11 22H2 isn't yet released but it is available in the release preview channel which is how I got it. Upon looking at the desktop of Windows 11 22H2 the first thing that occurred to me is the new texture on the taskbar there's like a it, ha it has more of a surface while the older one just didn't have it there wasn't this nice line going across the taskbar and the focus icon well do not disturb is um has changed it used to be a moon like a crescent but now it's a, a bell with Z's on it and another thing that's changed is the, the pop-up animation on here if you click on here, it um, pops up from the bottom instead of the side, and um, notifications have changed as well. Instead of, you know, selecting clear rule would clear off everything here, but there's now a little notification center, like a separate is now a separate part, which I am, um, which is quite nice. And there's also a little timer here as well. There's a timer, but that that wasn't there in 21H2, I, I don't think. But this is here now in 22H2. And another thing is um, folders on the start menu. You can um, drag and drop icons on top of each other, and it makes a folder. Say I want to put Office applications in here. It is a folder, and you can add a name, and I'll call it Office because it has Office apps in it. I quite like that actually. That's that's a very Good new feature and another brilliant feature that's made its way well <clears throat> actually let me rephrase that do you remember when drag and drop was a feature in windows i sure do but guess what it's back so let me just um show you that as you can see look you can finally drag and drop icons to the taskbar which is brilliant i've um waited a long time for that and they've also introduced some more stuff, there's like a filter icon, they've changed icons and names of things, that used to be like favourites I think, and now they've changed it to home. Just very minor aesthetics, they've changed the UI a little bit, they've tweaked a few things. Another thing is that they've um, added previews to folders as well. And if there's one thing I really like about the Windows 11 22H2 update, it's that if you drag and drop a window up here, there's like a little bar. Let me redo that. There's a little bar up here, as you can see, that pops up. And if you drag and drop your window on here, you can um, drag the window across these previews where you can snap a window. Say if I want to snap it here, the window will snap here, which I like. Sorry, that's just an old older video of mine. And but if you don't want to do that, you can just drag and drop it, and it will maximize like normal, which I really like. So yeah, that, that's very good that's a good feature I think that will increase productivity quite a bit and yeah that's um it's pretty cool stuff another feature that's a big improvement in Windows 11 22 h2 is the new dark task manager so if you were to switch to dark mode the task manager would also become dark which I really really like this has already been done in the rec in rectify 11 which I installed previously in one of my previous videos but I honestly really do like how they've actually changed the layout instead of having the same task manager for the past 8 or 9 years in Windows 11 and Windows 10. So yeah, because in Windows 11, Windows 10 even, they didn't change the task manager, they used the exact same version of task manager that they used in Windows 8, but I like how they finally changed that. I actually quite like this new interface, you, I mean if you can't see what they are, if you're a beginner you can just click this hamburger menu here just to see all the titles of these tabs, which I like. So yeah, that's um, Windows 11 22H2, which I really like, and they've finally actually, in my opinion, made Windows 11 somewhat worthy of upgrading. I mean, it's not that much different from Windows 10, but this is certainly a big improvement over 21H2, which was very unfinished. But anyway, that wraps up my review, well, not really review, but my first look of Windows 11 22H2. I really like it, it's a big improvement to Windows 11 21 H1, so yeah, is it worthy of upgrading? Well, kinda, but kinda not. It can do it, Windows 10 can practically do everything that Windows 11 can, so yeah, I mean, there, there are um, some features in Windows 11 that are very, really nice though, For, like I showcased earlier, this, this is very good, but... Microsoft have got to try a bit harder than that in order to make me want to, you know, to make other people want to upgrade. But yeah, I would say this is worthy of having. It's it's good. 
So yeah, thank you for watching, and see you guys later. Thank you.